Hello guys, this is Farjana. Welcome to my another quick tutorial. In this video, I will show you how you can create a custom header area and also we can create a custom footer area. And for this tutorial, I will use a free plugin. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, we can make this custom header and footer area completely free. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, I'm going to dashboard then i'm going to plugins and add new plugins and now i'm searching for header footer okay so this is the plugin elementor header footer and blocks template so now i'm going to install this one and activate and after installing this plugin i'm going to appearance and here is the new menu tab header footer and blocks so this is coming from our new plugin so now i'm going here and going to add new and our new template title name i'm typing header and here type of template so from here i'm selecting header and display on so from here we can select it for entire website or from here we can make it for any specific page so for this time I'm making it for entire website and user role we can make it as default and keeping is as default. Now going to publish and now I'm going to edit with Elementor. And from here we can make it from scratch or here you can also search for any pre-made template or blocks. So now if we search from here blocks and from here category so if we scroll down and here is header we can see here is different kind of pre-made layout for header but all is pro okay so now for the header area as we are using a free plugin so this time i'm trying to make something from scratch so now i'm going to add new section and here i want to create something top header area then the mid header area and the menu area so for the top section we can create a two column structure and for the left side i'm going here and taking a inner section and here i'm selecting icon and icon list so for the first one we can make it to phone number so here i'm searching for phone and we can select this icon then insert and text we can make it to our phone number zero one like that and link so here we can copy the phone number then tail colon and the number so now the number is clickable so when someone click on this number it will redirect to the phone call and these two item i'm removing these two and here first i'm making the background color for this section so edit section going to style tab and background type from here i'm setting a color for background so here i'm adding black color for this background and now we can make the text color to white so going to style tab and icon color so color we can make it to white and text text color we can make it to white okay and now in the similar way I'm going to copy and paste it here and this time we can change it to email address so going here and here i'm typing a test email address like test at gmail.com and here we can find a icon for email so here mail okay so i'm taking this one and here instead of tail we can make it to mail to and here we can type the email address again so now when someone click on this email address it will redirect to the email pop-up 
and here we can also decrease the spacing between these two columns so I'm removing it the spacing okay looks good and on the right side we can take some social icon so for that here I'm searching for social and now I'm going to customize it so going to style tab official color you can make it to custom and now primary color you can make it to white or you can make it to transparent okay it looks good and size we can also decrease the size and here is spacing between icon and now alignment so we can make the alignment to right and here we can add some url with this icon so for that going here for facebook we can add our facebook url link so from here i'm typing a hashtag for this time and in the similar way for twitter we can add link from here and for youtube or if we want to add any more social icon so for that going to add item and from here we can change the icon from here and here we can put the url okay so for this time i'm leaving it and now i'm removing the extra spacing for this column so going to edit section going to layout and column gap we can make it to no gap and now going to this column area and vertical align we can make it to middle so i think this looks okay now and for the next area here we can make a one column structure so for that again going to add new section and one column structure here we can take a logo so now searching for logo and here is site logo so this item is coming from header footer and blocks plugin which we are using here so now i'm taking this one and we can also resize the logo size so going to style tab and from here width so first i'm selecting the pixel and here i'm making it to like this and here we can add some spacing in top and bottom so going to edit section going to advanced tab and first i'm going to unlink the padding and for top padding we can add 20 pixel and for bottom we can add 20 pixel or we can make it to 15 okay so now next here we can take another section for menu so again going to add new section going to one column structure add new and now searching for menu so here is the element from this plugin for menu item i'm taking this and from here you can select the menu so here i have only one menu so by default it's taking this one and then here is last menu item default we can make button so for this time i'm leaving it and layout i'm making the alignment to center and all is okay for this time and for the style tab i'm making the menu color so going to going to typography so from here we can change the text transform to uppercase and also the text color we can make it to black and for hover style we can also add a different color for menu hover and we can also add a different color for active state now i'm checking the full page view from here looks good and here i think we can add a border top and bottom of this menu so for that again going to this section going to style tab going to border and now going to border type solid and width one pixel and here i'm making it to unlink and for right side making it to zero and left side making it to zero and here color we can make the color to a light color and we can also decrease the opacity and now if we check it so it's looking like this and here i'm also removing the extra spacing so again going edit section 
going to lay out column gap no gap so now it's looking good okay so now i'm checking the responsive mode so going here going to tablet so for tablet it's looking like this and here going to edit this column column width we can make it to 30 percent or we can increase it and for this column i'm making it to 30 okay all others looking good and here if we check the phone view so it's looking like this so here we can make it to 50 percent so i'm making it to 50 and for this column we can make it to 50 percent and here for this column it's looking okay and here we can make the alignment to center for phone view and all looking good and now i am saving it and now if we refresh our home page okay so now we can see our header area design is updated and in the similar way we can create a fully custom design footer with this plugin so now again i'm going to dashboard going to exit to dashboard and add new and this time i'm typing footer and type of template we can select footer display on we can set entire website all others is okay and now going to publish now edit with elementor and now again we can create a section for footer from scratch but for this time I'm not going to all these details from scratch so this time I like to use a pre-made layout so going to add template going to blocks now I'm searching for footer and here you can see here is tons of pre-made layout for footer but here almost all of the layout is for pro version I'm also using the pro version of Elementor in this website so for this time i'm just going to import a template from here so let's check it and we can import this one going to insert if you don't have elementor pro that case we have to create this footer area from scratch for this time i'm not going through all this design from scratch so for time saving purpose i'm using this template and if you also like to use Elementor Pro to get all this pre-made template, then you can also install Elementor Pro. I will leave the link for Elementor Pro in my description. And also I will leave the tutorial link how you can install properly so you can follow that tutorial. Okay, let's go ahead now. So when we use any pre-made template, we need not to worry about any responsive mood so now if we check the tablet so here we can see this is ready for tablet and if we check the phone view we can see this is also completely ready for phone and here if we want to change more the font style for phone we can also do that going here going to style tab and typography we can make the font size to 22 and again going to tablet mode and going to edit this text going here and from typography we can make it to 35 okay and in the similar way we can customize all this font style text color button color and so on and here here is the subscription box so from here this is form field from Elementor Pro so here we can also set our mailchimp account or any other account for email subscription okay so i'm not going through all this for this time as this is not about elementor pro i'm just trying to give you an idea how we can create our custom header and footer area with a free plugin so now i'm saving it and now if we refresh our page you can see our footer area is working okay so here is all for today if you think this tutorial adds some value to you please give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time 
and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial